Hi, today we are going to introduce you a new section of our channel, a series of videos in which we'll try to help you to install and configure certain modules. We're going to start with the module Redis. In French, it's Redis. Why do we need this module? First of all, it's a key value storage, something a bit similar to memcached for those who already have some experience with it. Um, this module is used um, mainly to increase the performance. Uh, more detailed information you can find on project page on Drupal.org and on the Redis official site. There are a lot of articles on the internet about the difference between uh, using Redis and uh, Memcached, what are the benefits of using Redis instead of Memcached and so on. Uh, we will add several links to description to this video. Um, so let's install Redis for Drupal 7. We've already got our Drupal 7 installed locally, so let's prepare an environment. What do we need? Uh, first, it's to install the module, then install Redis on server, and to install the library for PHP layout between Redis and Drupal. Uh, let's begin with module Redis installation. We go to the root directory of our Drupal installation. Um, we will install it uh, through Drush. Of course, if you don't have Drush locally, you can install it manually. Just to download it to the modules folder. And enter. Okay, done. Uh, so we have to install uh, Redis on the server. Uh, in our case, server is Linux Ubuntu. We go to home directory of uh, user. Let's find documentation. Um, link to documentation we can find on the Redis project page. So click here. And uh, now we need to search download link. Scroll a bit down. Here it is. Uh, let's copy paste these commands into our console. And paste. Mm -hmm. And paste again. Okay, in our case it will work rather fast because Redis is already installed on our local machine. But in general it's only four comment lines we need to install Redis. Uh, well, after installation let's start Redis server. Uh, for it there is a simple command uh, src redis server. Paste it into the console and enter. And we see that Redis is ready to use. How to check if Redis works? Let's open the second console window, um, where we'll open a Redis client. Let's log in on the root. And uh, now go to Redis directory. In our case, it looks like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, to open Redis client, there is uh, such a command um, src Redis client. So paste and enter. Okay, done. Now let's check if our server works properly. Let's copy test command uh, that means set to key foo value bar and paste. So, server answered OK. Now let's check value for Kifu. Uh, -huh. And it is bar as expected. So it works. Uh, next, we need to add the library of PHP layout between Drupal and Redis. Um, there, are, there are two libraries which are called uh, Redis and PHP Redis. In general, it doesn't mean which one to choose, so let's uh, use the first one, Redis. 
As we use 7.2 stable version of module Redis, we need to use 7th or 8th branch of library Predis. Let's install Predis library. Uh, we go to GitHub, uh, where there is such library. Okay, we need a v0.8 branch, here it is, and let's check uh, the tag for this branch, it's actually v0.8.7. Uh, let's log out from client and go to root directory of our Drupal installation. Okay, uh, then we type sites, all. Uh, oh, uh, we don't have a libraries directory uh, because um, it's a clear Drupal installation. So let's create a folder libraries. Uh, libraries. Um, let's check it and go to the folder. Mm -hmm. Now we have to clone our library through git. Um, let's copy URL for cloning from GitHub. Uh -huh. uh, then type git clone. Um, and we have to choose uh, a branch. Um, a v0.8. Uh -huh. and paste URL and press enter and we're waiting some time okay we have downloaded our library um, now let's check out less stable tag in our branch uh, check out okay v0 dot eight dot seven mm -hmm. Tenta. okay what next um, let's check readme txt file so we search module redis which we have installed uh, mm-hmm uh, here, uh -huh. so Redis, and open readme txt. Um, oh, uh, by the way, we have readme txt for general installation and for a Redis library and PHP Redis library. So we have quite enough of documentation. Uh, okay, then open. Uh, good. We need to add several settings lines uh, to our settings PHP file where we change some cache system settings. Uh, okay. Uh, we just uh, copy all the uh, uh, all the lines. Okay, um, uh, good. So more information about each line you can find in readme txt file. Uh, so Redis client interface. In our case, it's Redis. Uh, next, Redis client host. In our case, it's localhost. Localhost is um, set in Redis module by default, so we can delete this line. And if your Redis server is uh, um, installed on remote server, then you can set IP to the server into it. In our case, we delete. Mm -hmm. And it seems to me other lines will leave the same and save settings PHP. Uh, let's go to our site, reload the page, everything works just fine. Um, so what problems uh, can we have? Uh, there can be an error 
when the server is stopped. Let's do it manually. Control C. Um, so it's written, Redis is now ready to exit. Bye bye. Uh, now let's reload page again. And we see an error. If you see such error, it means that your server isn't started or something is wrong with it. Uh, let's start it again. And reload the page. So now again, all works fine. Uh, to be really sure that Drupal works with Redis, we can monitor it. Uh, let's go again to Redis directory and go under client. Uh -huh. uh, here. Uh, Redis has such command which is called monitor. Um, it shows uh, all uh, queries to Redis. Okay, so let's reload the page. Uh, so now, as you can see, um, there are a lot of queries to Redis from Drupal. And now we are definitely sure that Drupal is connected to Redis. Um, so that was Redis base installation. And um, so the next video, in addition to Redis, will add entity cache. And uh, after, we will check the performance. Thanks for watching us. Stay with the sync Drupal. Bye-bye.